Hey nesters, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going antiquing. So I'm taking you along with me at a antique store and let's go ahead and see what kind of deals we can find. A lot of people sometimes think antique stores might be a little overpriced, but you really can find some good deals there if you just look around. You kind of have to dig through it just like you would a thrift store, but there's always good deals to be found. Sometimes, you know, the the people that have the booths, I used to have a booth, so I know this, that they'll put up things on sale that have been stagnant for a while, and it doesn't mean that they're not as valuable anymore. It's just that they're kind of trying to make their booth rent, and they figured it's been sitting there long enough, so they're just trying to move on from it and make room for new stuff. So definitely, you can always find some good deals at the antique mall if you just look around. I love the beetles, so naturally I'm going to gravitate towards anything to do with them. That wasn't too old of a magazine, unfortunately. I just kind of had a little bit of information on them, so I decided to pass on it. I always love all the fun little signs and tags people put on their booths, photos, and other stuff. <laughs> that was kind of funny. So I kind of glanced at this lot of ephemera here. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, <laughs> so I did just glance briefly. I did end up finding one really cool thing. It was this little blue book of Birds of America, and as you can see, it has some age to it. It was definitely used and loved. They weren't asking a whole lot for it. I think it was only a couple bucks. You can see the date there in Roman numerals. <laughs> I did get this. I'll share it with you at the end of the video when I do my haul but you can kind of get the glimpse of the inside of it now. I did go back to glance at some more of the ephemera. I fell in love with this little vintage birthday card. I love the graphics on it. How fun. It was even signed on the back, from grandma with love and best wishes. I just thought that was precious. I was trying to figure out what this was. Apparently they did not want you to open it, so kind of a mystery, or maybe you were able to tell on the outside, but I don't know a thing about stamps or collecting stamps, so not something I was really wanting to dive into. You guys know I love my state souvenirs and I've always been drawn to various license plates. They're always a little bit pricey and they're kind of hard to find, you know, from different states here. Obviously, it's probably like that everywhere, but I do like to glance and see if I can find a good deal on some. So this was a very neat piece. It is a vintage mid-century ashtray. They had it marked down for $10. You can see it had really cool color on the inside of it. Let's try and take the tag off so you can see. It's kind of got this blue and pink flowers coming up through it. Really neat piece. They were asking $10 for this little vintage main creamer. Super cute. I'm just not really into plastic wear. Otherwise, I probably would have snagged it if it was glass, but I really love the little cow on it. I'd never come across that one before. They had their vintage Jeanette candy dish there marked down to $13, which is about what they're going to sell for, so they should have no problem selling that if the right buyer comes through. This vendor had a lot of different dolls in their booth. It's not something I'm really into, but there was a lot to maneuver around or on the floor and a lot to look at. This orange glass vase caught my attention in the back there. It had some controlled bubbles throughout it. Very pretty. And let's see what they say. I guess they had marked it down to $20. So I fell in love with this little kitty cat down here. Love the colors to this. So fun with all the florals. This is a 1960s, 1970s chakra bank. Very kitschy, super cute, of course. Only $8 they were asking for it. I thought that was a fantastic deal. And I sense a new collection brewing for me. I think I want to collect the vintage 60s, 70s chakra banks like this. I just think that would look really cute all on a shelf with all those fun colors. Yeah, I really love this. 
Again, I found some Beatles memorabilia. This is Abbey Road from the cover of Abbey Road, which was their last album they recorded. It wasn't the last album that was released. However, Let It Be, I believe, was after that. Like, it came after, even though they recorded it before because they had released it alongside the movie. But they were asking $25 for this repo, so I'll keep my eye on it. I'll go back and see if it ever goes on sale. I do really like it. This booth had a lot of primitives in it. Not really my style, but I definitely always appreciate it. I actually really like this little cast iron horse and wagon. I thought that was really neat. This booth also had a really nice collection of old soda bottles. I don't drink soda, so it just seems like a weird thing for me personally to collect, but people do really cute things. They'll use them as little flower bud vases, and they do look really nice if you're into vintage advertisement. They had this really adorable set of Kimberly Enterprise tiles. I think they'll look really nice in the bathroom. They're only asking $20 for the set of three there, which was very reasonable. It's just not really my taste per se, but I did really think they were fun. She actually makes other ones in a similar fashion. So I came across a state souvenir piece I had never seen before, and it just so happened to be in Maine, which was great. I had a little basin to the picture as well, so it was a nice little two-piece for only $5. They had another souvenir piece this time of Moosehead Lake, which is a beautiful lake near me. The lake itself is actually shaped like a moose's head, legit. Even with the antlers, it's really cool. Obviously, you'd have to have an aerial view of it, <laughs> but you can get really good salmon and brook trout out of there. These salt and pepper shakers, initially I thought they were just bags, like little purses, but they had them marked as fishing reels, so I don't know that I saw that per se, but they just look like little purses to me. And this was really kitschy, so I want to take a look at that with the two little baby swans and the mama swan there. They were asking $20 for the set of three. Oh yeah, that's right. They had a little black duck up in the back, or I guess swan rather, and it reminds me of the story, The Ugly Duckling. I'm sure that's probably what they're referencing with it, but I never had seen that. All right, so there was quite a few fun things at the antique store today. I do have some more footage to share with you guys in the next video, but I'm gonna end it there and share with you the things I got from this portion of the shopping trip. So I was very excited as I guess had shown you guys the vintage 1960s, 1970s era chalkware bank. Adorable little kitty cat, kind of has that maybe psychedelic colors, I guess, to it, but I just think it's really fun, and I, I feel like I kind of want to start collecting these, as I mentioned. I think maybe just like six, six or so, maybe like three on each shelf, and kind of just have them displayed on the wall. I think they look really cute, so I'm going to keep my eye out for these for a good price. This one was only $8. I thought, was it, thought it was very reasonable. Unfortunately, where they had the tag, they had put some clear tape on it, and some of the paint did come off on the ear, which was kind of a bummer, but I guess there was no way of preventing that from happening once the tape was on there, so... I'm not even going to attempt to take this off because I fear it's going to do about the same thing, so... I just as soon have the sticker there, but yeah, I was super happy with that find. So a nice little vintage Japan bank. And then the state souvenir piece, I picked up this state of Maine souvenir in the little pitcher with the basin here. It has the same design on it. It has the lobster and some pine trees and pine cones, the mountains, very cool. A lot of people, think of Maine and they only think about the Maine coast with a lobster and stuff, but we actually have a lot of really cool things inland as well. We have different parks, like we have Acadia National Park, we have Baxter State Park, lots of lakes, lots of cool places to hike and camp. So I'm glad that this kind of featured that a little bit on it. It wasn't just about the lobster. But yeah, that was the image on that, on both of them there. So pretty, I was very happy with that find. And that was $5 for that, so a really good deal there. And you guys saw me pick this up. The tag was removed off of this and I couldn't see in my footage how much it was exactly, but I'm pretty sure it was two or three dollars. 
and that is why I picked it up. Now it's a little bit in rough shape, you know, the binding's a little loose, has some definitely signs of age there, but it's called the Blue Book of Birds of America. Jays, larks, orioles, grackles, finches, sparrows, grosbeaks, blackbirds, buntings, etc. Illustrated in color. So I had seen, has a signature of whoever, you know, had the book before, but I had seen that it had Roman numerals and I'm not super great with them. So I didn't know the exact date. I have since looked it up. So it says here, copyright MCM triple XI, which that is 1931. And right beside it, it says MCM XLI, which is 1941. So it originally came out in 31. I assume this is the 41 edition, which is still super old, right? So I thought that was really, really cool. And given the age to it, it's actually in really good shape. So it has lots of different birds and the identification and the, uh, like the pictures, the color pictures are nice and a little story in the background on each bird. So I think that's really neat. I've always kind of desired to be the type of person that gets the binoculars and goes birding. So I think that's really fun. And this might be something I resell, but I also might hang on to it because I do enjoy birds. So I have a few other things like that, but it's really neat that this is so old. So definitely a good pickup for two or three bucks, I think. So those are my three items I picked up so far this antique trip. Like I said, I still have more shopping footage and more things I purchased this day to share with you guys in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what item either I picked up or at the store that you enjoyed, what you would have picked up. And yeah, we'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.